Okay, in this one it says find the linearization of f of x equals 1 over square root of 7 plus x at x equals 0. Um, all right, well, you know, that really doesn't mean anything more crazy than to find the equation of the tangent line here. So, sorry, I couldn't find my pen for a second. So it says f of x is 1 over the square root of 7 plus x. And this, they want the linearization at x equals 0. All you're doing is when they find, say find a linearization at something, you're just finding an equation of a tangent line there. That's all that you're doing. Okay, so, you know, that's definitely not the graph of 1 over square root of uh, 7 plus x. Um, I'm just illustrating a point. But the idea is, okay, so we know the x-coordinate, you know, if, if x equals 0, well, the y-coordinate, that's going to equal the value we get when we plug 0 into the function, which is just going to be 1 over square root of 7. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I know that it's y minus the y-coordinate, 1 over root 7, equals the slope, x minus the x-coordinate, which is 0. Well, to get the slope of the tangent line, we know how to get slopes of tangent lines. We simply take the derivative, um, and then we have to plug in the appropriate x-coordinate, which in this case is going to be 0. Okay, so, well, let's take the derivative. You could use the quotient rule on this. Um, that, to me, would be a bit overkill. Just bring the uh, 7 plus x to the upstairs by making it a negative exponent. It says the derivative is going to be negative 1 half, 7 plus x. We have to take 1 away to the negative 3 halves. And if you multiply by the derivative of the inside, you'll just get 1. Okay, no dx dt. We're not doing any of that stuff anymore at this point. This is just back to what you know. Um, so it says the derivative at 0. It says we'll get negative 1 over 2. If you plug 0 in, we'll get, um, that'll be 7, the cube root of 7. Um, excuse me, the square root of 7 cubed is what I meant to say. Um, and that's the slope that we're going to have to plug in there now. So it says, again, our point, it's y minus 1 over root 7. The slope now is negative 1 over 2, the square root of 7 cubed and then x minus the x-coordinate, which again was um, 0 in this problem. So of course, <clears throat> viva ut, you now have to make this look like one of their solutions. Okay, the thing I notice is the slopes are either 7s or root 7s, so it's going to have to be a root 7 in here, I'm pretty sure. Um, well, positive. Let's see. So, you could write 7 cubed as 7 squared times 7. But remember, if you have something squared underneath a square root, you can pull it out once. So I can actually pull that 7 out one time. And then I'm going to have 7 times 2, which is 14. Why did I write 12? We'll have 14 root 7. OK, and then um, we'll have, again, x minus the x-coordinate, which is 0. So it says, hey, we'll get y equals negative uh, 1 over 14 root 7 x. The, the uh, 0 part will cancel out. And then we have to add 1 over square root of 7. So now we can just factor. It says we'll get 1 over square root of 7. I could write it as negative 1 over 14 x plus 1. Um, but if typically people will, if they can, We'll flip it around and make it 1 minus 1 over 14x. Um, one fewer symbol, therefore it's more simplified. And that's now going to be the um, linearization.